Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from Group 4 and we will present the nuclear physics. What is nuclear physics? Nuclear physics is the physics of atomic nuclei and their interaction, especially in the generation of nuclear energy. In 1895, the German scientist Wilhelm Röntgen discovered X rays, and a few years later, French scientist Marie and Pierre Curie discovered radioactive radium. Radiation around us, indicated in the electromagnetic spectrum below ranging from the radio wave, which is the lowest energy, to the gamma radiation, which is the highest energy. And radiation is divided into two types, which is the first one is ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation is the wavelength shorter than 100 nanometer, and the example to the ionizing radiation is the X-rays and gamma rays. The second type is non-ionizing radiation. Non-ionizing radiation is the wavelength longer than 100 nanometer. Microwave and radio wave is the example to the non-ionizing radiation. Ionization occurs when an electron in the inner orbit of an atom receives sufficient energy to escape from the influence of the nucleus. This will cause the formation of a positive ion and a negative ion. And as a result to the ionization, X radiation will emitted when an electron from the outer shell falls in to take the place of the electron that was ejected. Ionizing radiation cause ionization when they pass through matter, alpha and beta. Pearls, gamma rays and X-rays are the example to the ionizing radiation. Alpha and beta particles and gamma rays are emitted spontaneously from the nuclei of unstable atoms during radioactive disintegration, or, or it also called as radioactive decay. In radioactive materials, radiation is emitted continuously in a regulated manner and there is no way to stopping it. It cannot even be switched off. Meanwhile, for X-rays, it is produced by the sudden deceleration of the electron in the strong field of the target nucleus. X-ray machines emit radiation only when the machine is energized. When the high voltage is disconnected, then no X-rays are emitted. Now let's look at on the alpha particle properties. Alpha particle is strongly ionizing but cannot be stopped by a paper or skin. They have a strong positive charge which is positive 2 and a mass of 4 which is 4 times the mass of a proton. And in fact, alpha particle is the same as a helium nucleus. Next is beta particle properties. Beta particle is actually the electrons, but they are called beta particle to identify that they came from the nucleus of the atom. Beta particle is also strongly ionizing, uh, which is one beta particle will cause perhaps 100 ionizations. And beta particle are more penetrating than alpha particle. And last but not least is gamma rays properties. Gamma rays are very poor at ionizing but it's very difficult to stop. But then, as they are not good ionizers, they are less dangerous to life. Next, we continue with radiation detection. The ability of such radiation to cause ionization directly or indirectly determines the methods of detection. Human sense cannot detect the ionizing radiation, so appropriate instruments are needed. First instrument is portable radiation monitors. It's a battery-operated handheld meter like giga counters and scintillation counters. It usually used at radiation facilities and work sites to ensure the radiation level within the limits. This monitor also consists of probe containing the detector like GM tube and ionization chamber or detecting head. Uh, this monitor also must be calibrated at periodic intervals in radiation calibra calibration facilities. Second instrument is area radiation monitors. Uh, this monitor gives an indication of the external radiation level present and an area where there are ionizing radiations. If the level exceeds a predetermined value, it sounds an alarm and it's usually designed to respond to gamma radiation. Third instrument is personal dosimeter which are TLD, QFE dosimeter and the beeper. Uh, this monitor is used for internal radiation contamination and used to determine how much radiation received by a radiation worker in the course of his work. As for thermoluminescent dosimeter page, which is TLD, it consists of two lithium fluoride chips mounted on the card and encased in the special holder. It's worn like a page on the body for one or two months, depend on the nature of the work, and the amount of radiation which the worker received is recorded on the TLD chips. The used card is heated up in the TLD reader and the amount light emitted is proportional to the amount of radiation absorbed by the card. It's considered to be the amount of radiation to which the wearer has been exposed. For the QFE dosimeter or PEN dosimeter, it measures cumulative dose of ionizing radiation to receive by the device usually over one work period. 
and it used for the workers involved in non disruptive safety work. The advantages of this dosimeter is it gives an immediate reading of the dose received by, by the wearer and very useful for the individuals who need to enter a radiation area to do a particular job. It's also convenient direct reading of exposure. The disadvantages for this dosimeter is it less accurate uh, other than dosimeter and easily affected by the shock. Lastly, the beeper. The beeper is miniature GM cubes in small instruments which are carried in the pocket. Also, the beeper makes ideal sensors for pocket size device to detect radioactivity. It produces an audible beep warning sound at a rate dependent on the radiation level because it has a high sensitivity to beta particles and some ability to detect gamma rays. When a predetermined dose rate is exceeded, it will give a warning note which increases in frequency with dose rate. Radiation safety. Radiation safety. We have the occupational exposure limit. The occupational exposure limit is the dose limit for radiation workers and for members of the public as specified in the uh, radiation protection ionizing radiation regulation 2000. Follow the recommendation of the International Commission on Radiological Protection (ICRP). Category person. Uh, the first one is adults uh, who are exposed in the course of their works. And the, the second one is a member of the public. Dose limit uh, for radiation workers. The dose limit is designed to prevent the incident to the deterministic effect by keeping the dose limit below the three hole values for the deterministic effect. The dose limit recommended by ICRP in 1990 uh, to be 20 mini SV a year, average over defined period uh, of five years, and with the further uh, provision that the effective dose shall not excess 50 mini SV in any single year. The aim is not to just keep reading uh, the dose limit but to ensure that protection is optimized and exposure are or keep as low as reasonable, reasonably achievable economic and social factors being considered by ALARA principle. Next is just is dose limit for public. For members of the public, the dose limit is uh, 1 mini SV per year. A higher value of an effective dose could be allowed in a year provided that the average over 5 years does not access 1 mini SV per year. LARA principle also apply here. The occupational dust limit for women who are not pregnant should, shall be the same as the as that, as that of men. Once pregnancy has been declared, the equivalent dust limit to the surface of the woman's abdomen shall be 2 mini SV for the remainder of the pregnancy. Radiation accident. A radiation accident should shall be considered to have a pure if an unexpected, uncontrolled high level of ionizing radiation occurs. As in the case of loss by damage of the radiation shielding of seal, radioactive source, or of irradiation apparatus. Next is uh, an individual enter her high radiation field by accident. Next is there is a loss of control of unsealed radioactive material causing a spillage or leakage of the radioactive material. Next is the skin or clothing of an individual become contaminated. The last one is radioactive materials is accidentally released into environment in excess of discharge level permitted by the regulation. Emergency procedure. When any radiation radiation accident occurs, the license, the radiation safety officer or the individual in charge of the in charge of the area at the time shot. Uh, first one is evacuate all individual from the affected area. The second one is uh, block off uh, the affected area including all locations where the radiation level is at uh, 25 micro SV per hour. And Post warning sign at all the interests. Next, take immediate uh, action to reduce the hazard caused by the radiation accident. Uh, next, make arrangement to provide uh, temporary shelter, monitor and document any affected individual and the area, and take all the action necessary to return the situation back to normal. Next, ensure that any contamination in excess of the permitted limit for skin and clothing of any individual is removed before the individual leaves the premise. Next, ensure that any personal clothing or other private property which is contaminated by radioactive materials is not taken from the premise or released to a public laundry until it can be shown uh, that uh, the contamination does not access uh, the permitted contamination limit. And the last one is refer affected individual for medical observation and treatment.